Hi, I'm Frank Seppi for NPCNewsOnline.com. I'm backstage at the Olympia with four-time Mr. Olympia, Jay Cutler. Jay, you play sixth. You're disappointed. How do you feel right now? You know what? I, uh, I'm happy. Uh, it's uh, been a long road. I mean, you and I, we're, we were together when oh, we first started this journey, you know. And, uh, 90s, baby. Yeah, 13th, uh, my 13th Mr. Olympia, uh, won four, mm -hmm. you know, six runner-ups. It's been... Uh, been 11 12 years since I've been out of the top two yeah and uh, you know placing six I mean it's it was a tough lineup and the guys looked great um, a lot of good battles in there you know obviously top two you know Kai and Phil same as last year but uh, the fans are awesome man you know like I said I, I got an opportunity to speak on the stage which was you know rare for someone that didn't win yeah and uh, you know this was the most exciting Olympia I've ever been in even the ones that I won so it just shows the production, uh, you know, Robin Chang and his staff and, you know, what the IFBB Pro League is uh, is doing for promoting and, of course, getting the attendance raised at the Olympia. I think we had a sold-out crowd, 10,000 seats. Yeah. The fans are awesome. I mean, this is this is dedicated to the fans. And, of course, Joe Weider, you know, first year of him not being here, it's, you know, I was close to Joe Weider. So this, this is... Uh, it's heavy, this this one for me. Well, I mean, you have nothing to prove to anybody. You won the championship four times. I mean, going through the process, when we started, there were no social media. There wasn't an Instagram. There wasn't anybody. You know, when people talked about you, you'd go up to them in the gym and you would, you know, you'd hash it out. You got all these people talking trash and stuff online here and there. I mean, you really are one of the most successful bodybuilders of all time, all on stage and off the stage, and you've been a fantastic ambassador for this sport. Like you said, and for someone like you, it was easy you could say, you know what, uh, I didn't come at my best, I'm coming back, the blah, blah, blah. But you said this is the best Olympia you ever were in, you know? And, I mean, that's just pure class. And you've been nothing but class over the last, you know, decade and, and then some. It's, you know, it's so easy when, you know, you're given an opportunity and, you know, a dream. I mean, my dream was to be something special. And I was given that opportunity. And I, I know from the beginning I always looked inside and I said, you know, if I ever have the opportunity to be a promotion promoter of something you know to be a role model and you know have the opportunity to be someone that stands in the lead position of something I'm gonna take the best advantage of it and that's what I try to do I mean I try to you know treat everyone as equal as as, uh, as any person you know I put no one higher than anyone else and and uh, you know the fans always I mean they're the ones that support us and of course you're gonna have the critics and you're gonna have people that always. say negatively should Jay have come back he should have retired listen I came I came back I tore my bicep in 11 I was on stage with a torn bicep I lost the title I wasn't given the opportunity to get back on stage last year now this year of course I'm back um, you know did I show up at my all-time best no I didn't I'm 40 years old um, I trained you know 10, 12 weeks for this contest, uh, put together something fantastic in that amount of time, in my opinion. And uh, I had a lot of support from the fans. Absolutely. And, you know, this one was dedicated to them, the well, fans. You, you could tell it takes more than just a champion to win, you know, a title. I mean, you're a champion off the stage as well. If you go, anyone, you know, seen you in an expo or any events, you always have one of the biggest lines. You had a huge ovation out there. The fans are with you. They still love you. They'll love you to your death. Like, you've made your mark in bodybuilding. Like I said, you have no nothing to prove to anybody. Yeah, and I have a huge, huge support team. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, Muscular Development, BPI Sports. You know, I just launched the J Color Elite Series supplement lines and, you know, my Chic Belt line, my Smart Shake. I mean, I have a million things going on. I mean, J Color, you know, I have the Color Athletics clothing and everything's, uh, you know, everything's... Everything's important nowadays. I have a lot of business. I yeah. promote, you know, seven bodybuilding contests across we the country. We got them on NBC News yeah, Online. Carry, yeah, carrying my sure. name. So it's not, now it's time to get back to work. You know, I get, came and I, I stayed home and I trained for the show for 10 solid weeks. And now it's uh, back to the business now. It's funny, you know, I run across, you know, thousands of NBC competitors and pros, you know, with the NBC News Online. And not one of them has anything bad to say about you. And that goes, that should go a long way about your character, you know, as a person. And a competitor you know we just interviewed mark anthony who won the men's physique and you know he attributed a lot of his, his success to you being his role model and you've been a role model for tens of thousands of people and bodybuilders over there so you know about the critics you know it really doesn't matter there's you know? no if you told me in the beginning you know the benefits of being who i became yeah. jay cutler as a bodybuilder would influence all these people and change people's lives i would have been like wow that's something I never, I never thought in a million years I would be that guy 
I always looked in and saw these big stars in the magazines, and yeah. I was looking up, and I never thought I was like that kid that was dreaming about that. Now I was going to have that opportunity to, to give back and be able to create you know, dreams and aspirations for people that follow me, and that's all I'm trying to do, man. I just want to thank the fans are. out there. I mean, it's uh, not just the fans here at the Olympia, the fans at home watching and that support. Go to the NPC shows, sure. support NPC News Online. You know, you guys are doing a great, great job promoting, and I'm really, I'm really fortunate to be happy and, and a part of, uh, you know, something new that's going forward. And, and uh, you know, our relationship over the years, sure. obviously, you know, we're around I'm the great. same age. So I'm 41. I'm yeah, a little bit older. A little, older. little older, but respect your elders. You know, <laughs> I respect what you've done, and uh, you I, know, appreciate I appreciate it. it. I think you know, you probably got even more fans today because, like I said, you know, you hire, you, you carry yourself, you know, the right way. Now, just to answer a couple questions, like, how do you feel about Phil Heath winning? Do you think he deserved to yeah, win? Do you think man, we was, thought it was it was uh, a done was, deal right up? I mean, come on. They, I told them, I said uh, after free judging last night, I said, you know, they didn't even call you up for the last call out. Uh, that's that's serious. Yeah, that's very serious. It's the Lee Haney days. That's you know? uh, <laughs> yeah, that's only happened a few times, and uh, you know, Phil, man, it's he's tough. He's going to be tough for anyone to knock out. You know, if he comes in and at his game, and I know his setup is, is real nice as far as, you know, he's got a good structure and uh, he's very focused. And I just told him, stay injury free and you got this thing wrapped up. And I sent him a, a tweet last night. I said, congratulations on your third Olympia. I mean, you've done it all. What are your future plans now? I mean, are you going to compete again or you don't know at this time? You think about You know it? what? I mean, uh, I said I was finished after 11 and this year, you know, I mean, I came back. I had a great showing, I feel. I mean, can I move up? You know, I don't know what I could have done to move past, move past some of these guys that finished ahead of me. I don't even know if I if I would have trained all year, I don't think I would have beaten these yeah. guys. So, uh, you know, if I feel I can't win a bodybuilding show, I won't train for it. Uh, I have too many other opportunities so going on. And you know what? Yeah. I, I've learned, you know, traveling the last year, being off the stage last year and being able to promote more internationally, see the fans more internationally, That's that's been a huge benefit to me. Uh, and uh, I, I enjoy it. So I, I'm going to go back to the business right now. Hard to say what my future plans as far as putting sure. on posing trunks again. I have a lot of guest posing, so you guys, you know, I got yeah. schedules all over the place. I'm, I'm going to be guest posing for the next couple months, and uh, you'll see me in trunks. It's just, uh, you know, Olympia's a <laughs> far, far away. I got a lot of food I, to eat in between and a lot of fluids to drink. I told somebody, I said, this is the only suit you'll see me wearing on the Olympia <laughs> stage. <laughs> But, you know, I really appreciate you taking the time. You know, like, you're a true gentleman. Like, we've known each other for a long time. And uh, in my era, you're, you've been the greatest bodybuilder of all time, you know. And that, that includes Ronnie Coleman. Um, you know, and I, again, really appreciate you taking the time and working with you with NPC News Online and promoting your shows. And, again, uh, congratulations, you know, for everything you've accomplished and for tonight, you know, coming back and, and doing what you could. I told you I'd be back. He I did. told him, and everyone doubted me, and I came back. Listen, I, I didn't win. I said I was going to win, too. But I, <laughs> I didn't win, but... One out of two is you know good. You know, bad. It's not I bad. I still got up there, and uh, I still performed. Congratulations to everyone. The guys look great, and, uh, you know, thank you guys for watching at home. Great. Thanks, Jay. I'm Frank Seppi, NPCNewsOnline.com. Jay Cl uh,